Hey folks, Mal Foran here and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. Today we're going to be carrying on our campaign in Rise of the Habsburg as uh, the old Archduchess Ermengarde. And we're, uh, yeah, we're in this war. We've got some uh, some nasty rebels coming up against us, but uh, we're easily going to beat them. And then when we do that, oh, we've just been, <laughs> we've just been appointed the Master of the Hunt for the Kaiser. Oh, cool. We'll, we'll have a look at that in a second. And uh, yeah, we're just going to win this rebellion and then revoke these titles. If you weren't here for the last episode, we're going to try to take these two because they're part of our home duchy. And then Bohemia, we're going to uh, give away to someone else as well. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that works out. And then yeah, we just got made a... Um... Can we see? Oh, we, oh, we were already the marshal. I totally forgot we were already the marshal, to be honest. So we're getting all these buffs for being the marshal. And then, yeah, we're the Master of the Hunt, so we get plus one prowess and 0.5 prestige a month. So, yeah, the two together is not too bad at all, to be honest. Countess Anna, um, we'll just let you go. We, I don't really care. Renounce claims? What do you have a claim on? Krems? Yes, let's do that, because that's, that's our title. Well, one of them. Krems is here. So there we go. We released her, but said, uh, yeah, you, you can never come after us for Krems. That's ours. Thank you very much. Then after this war's finished, we'll go on uh, pilgrimage, because we'll have enough gold by the time that's all done. Oh, I thought we were sieging down his capital. We weren't. We were sieging down next door. So, uh, yeah. Are they going to come and attack us? Should we, should we risk trying to uh, defeat them? Before the other army arrives? Mm, that isn't going to work. Yeah, let's, uh, let's run away. <laughs> Kind of see where they head to. I mean, we, we probably could defeat them. And it's going clear that your Archbishop is working to establish a false and spurious claim on the county of Layback. He certainly is. I'm not going to lie, that is definitely happening. I kind of want to fight them, but I, we, we need to make sure we fight them in a sensible place. We'll see. Oh, there we go. Got the claim. So thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, our Chancellor just died. I guess this guy, um, he's a powerful vassal. We'll keep him on our side. Although, again, Sankt Polton is here. So if he rebels against us, it would actually be good because we can revoke that as well. So, yeah, we might actually put uh, Podesta Igino in that place instead. Domestic affairs? No, we could probably change to foreign affairs now. Yeah, this is on the right one. This is on the right one. Oh, this is on the wrong one. Yeah, you shouldn't be collecting taxes. Yeah, let's do this. I totally real didn't realize she was on the wrong, um, wrong thing there. I guess we changed it before when we, when we needed some money. Paying homage, my vassal Countess Ramhild has arrived outside my castle with a grand possession of well-dressed diplomats, knights, and exotic entertainers. The fellowship resembles a parade led by the Countess herself. In a booming voice, she announces they're here to pay homage, and she comes bearing a gift of gold. Such generosity is hard to find in subjects. Remhild's loyalty is truly something to treasure. Yeah, we'll just let her in. Why not? She's going to give us some gold. Can't complain with that. Yeah, we've got enough money to do a good um, pilgrimage. So, yeah, as soon as this war finishes, we'll go on pilgrimage. I think we're going to risk attacking them. We've got a really good commander. Oh, we can actually command it ourselves. We won't do that. We'll let Kuno... Um, do this. We could call in some allies, but I think we'll be fine. Especially if we fight them on a fort. Well, they obviously think they're going to lose, so we'll see if that's true. The Battle of Graz. Do we want to send our daughter to West Franconia again? Sure, why not? Yeah, we are going to win. Nice. Well, we should win. <laughs> Look at these buffs. Plus 50. Oh yeah, because we've got territory defender advantage from all these uh, trinkets and stuff that we've got, so... Nice, yeah, we, have, yeah, we absolutely destroyed them. Um, awesome. Yeah, let's just go up to Bohemia. We'll just siege down a capital now. Ermengard comes of age. There we go, our daughter's... Uh... Oh, she's not married to anyone? Didn't realise that, actually. Yeah, let's, let's fix that, then. We will marry her matrilineally. Um, again, just so we can maybe get a title from somewhere, but also because she's our second in line. So we, we don't want to have her married off, and then she ends up being the ruler, and uh, bad stuff happens. So we can marry the, uh, the Prince of England. 
Oh, it's not next in line. Oh, they've still got high partition. Interesting. Vassal in it. Why? He's your child. Why Why is he not the heir? Uh... Interesting. Well, I guess we won't do that then. We could marry this guy. Prince Magnus. He's the um, he's the son of the Kaiser. He is. <laughs> Where is he in this line? I don't actually see him. Oh no, that, you know, no, that's his siblings. Yeah, so no, that'd be you. So he's what third, fourth? Oh, he's like fifth in line. Yeah, probably not. It's not like we're gonna get the um, the HRE off them. We have a claim on the. Kingdom of Sweden. Okay, you're only second in line. Wait, no, you've got another primary heir as well. Should we might marry this one anyway? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's marry, let's do it. Something weird might happen. He might end up inheriting Sweden. And we do love it when random stuff happens like that. No, I, I don't want to fight these random dudes. <laughs> They've got rebellion. I don't want to fight them. Oh, our composition. Oh, that means our husband died. Yeah. That's not nice. Right, let's find someone to marry ourselves. Nobody wants to marry us. Because we're old, I guess. <laughs> um, Yeah, only all these old people want to marry us. Karatanian? We could marry uh, Ivko Karka. Probably not, though. Could marry this Herculean Greek dude. Joe, I might do that. Why not? <laughs> Let's enjoy the last years of our life. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we need a uh, a new court physician though. I guess um, our daughter, oh, our sister, or our husband. Oh, our new husband's actually quite good at doing it. Joe, let's have our husband again. We'll keep the tradition going. Of, of, of having our husband as our physician. Got another perk in this. So we'll keep going down here. Prepared conscription. Reduce the cost of our army and then friendly territory levy reinforcement plus 100%. Just going to let us rebuild our armies faster. To be honest, if we siege this down, we'll probably win this war, I would think. So they're not going to be able to siege this down. He has 15 level 4. So yeah, they're not going to siege our capital down. Just wait for that to finish. And then, uh, yeah, once this has ended, we'll, we'll do this war down here against Crane. That would be rather easy for us to do. It looks like Hungary's having some fun. Oh, it's a tyranny war? That's fine. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll have taken this. Uh, like I was saying before, we could come after Croatia. Could actually take out uh, take out Venice as well. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what we're going to do next. Lombardy we could even go after. It does kind of border our territory. They got independence a while ago. Lithuania and Savoy, they're allied to. And then, yeah, ultimately, I do want to try and get maybe a claim on, claim on Holland or something. Can we request a claim? It's only minus 67. Interesting. Yeah, because if we can get a foothold in here of some land, then we can then use that to expand our um you know expand our land in this corner. We want to create the Kingdom of Frisia, which is as close as you're gonna get to the Netherlands. I mean it basically is, except for I think it comes further up here than it does um in kind of the Habsburg traditional timeline, so. Uh, yeah, we want to try get a claim up here somewhere. We need somebody who's like uh, uh, got like bad traits, like this guy, this sadistic dude. But I, I doubt. Yeah, he won't let us get a claim on a theocratic vassal. By you, no. Yeah. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try get a claim up here, and we can make our way. Wait, Sweden. Oh yeah, Sweden also is in control of Denmark by the looks of it. Oh no, Denmark's here. Weird. He, yeah, he's not doing well. He's lost most of his actual land to uh, to Sweden there. 
But uh, yeah, so uh, we'll try to get a claim up there. And then as I was saying uh, last episode, I think, or the one before, we can try head down here as well. Far from home, a stranger is brought before me. He's been waiting around the castle, we uh, castle gates for weeks, my liege. My guard informs me. Man bows deeply. My name is Hussam, your highness. I have traveled far and wide and seen many things. But well, my family and I are weary of the road. If you allow us to stay, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your loyal servants. Where are they from? Tunisia. Uh, yes, if you embrace God. There you go. Yeah, and all his family does. So we've got some Catholic Tunisians in our uh, in our realm now. Yeah, if we could go like to Kapu or something like that. Indiscreet counselor. Having served me faithfully as my court chaplain, I entrusted Valdemar with the ability to travel freely in my court. If I ever learned this, take advantage of my hospital as if I have been indiscreet with my daughter. Dude, you're the you're the Archbishop. <laughs> the Archb you're not very honest, are you? <laughs> you're rotten in jail for crossing me. Oh, it's an act of tyranny? How is it an act of tyranny? He's an Archbishop who slept with the the arch the archduchess's daughter uh, it'd be a shame if this got out okay we'll learn the secret i guess oh, that's annoying oh no the candy the candy jar got destroyed <laughs> what a shame uh yeah so yeah if we're gonna claim down here as well or we could marry into that oh look at this. they've got cool outfits greek <laughs> the greek orthodox people there um yeah, I'm trying to think actually. Is there any way for us to actually yeah, do we have any more children that are unmarried? No, you're married. Oh yeah, no other child's children died. So when we play as Duke uh Diopold, we might um Yeah, because he can start having children now. So yeah, when he has children, we'll we might start trying to marry into the houses down here. See if we can kind of uh take the land through succession rather than having to come down here and fight it ourselves. But we'll see. Oh, we, yeah, we could go on... Um... Wait, why can we not go on... Oh, yeah, no, we're still in this war. <laughs> I've been talking so much, I totally forgot we're actually still in this war, so... <laughs> uh, we best finish this first. I was like, why can we not go on pilgrimage? But, uh, yeah, that's why. Anyway, yeah, we're going to come down, we'll fight both of these armies, and then we'll probably split our army in half and just siege down till we win this. We could white piece it, but uh, we're going to try and just win it outright. There we go. Nice. Yeah, it's 70%. I think if we siege down all the lands here, we should be high enough for us to do it. A demonstration of leadership. My cousin, Duke Henrik, who is the, uh, the Duke of Steyermark. Think of somewhere else as well. Swabia. Look at him with his massive helm. Um, has been hovering around my council meetings lately. Knowing his interest in matters of leadership, I cannot help but feel the man is waiting to impress me. Yeah, let's discuss methods of communication. Anyway, yeah, we'll split this army in half. The other half of it can go... And we'll siege these down. Snail slime. That is the face I would be pulling as well. I encountered a commoner outside today. She was, to my puzzlement, looking very closely at the ground and the surfaces of various plants and rocks. It turned out she's looking for signs of snails. As an assistant to a local apothecary, she was tasked with gathering some snail slime, as the mucus has various medicinal uses. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. That is frankly disgusting. <laughs> but someone has to do it. Historical context. Historically, in some parts of the world, people would collect snail slime. It is believed to have healing properties in regards to medical issues, such as inflamed skin and stomach ulcers. Hmm. No thanks. <laughs> actually, look at that. Modern research actually shows that it did, it did work. An interesting and important endeavor. Good luck. Could you educate me about snail slime? <laughs> what does this give us? Hmm. I'm going to say good luck. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be rude. But I'm also not that interested in it. So, yeah, let's get another 700 gold from the, uh, from the Pope. Uh, 
And then this one is almost finished. We'll see what that gets us to. 91%? Yeah, so when this one finishes, we will be finished. Oh yeah, we still need to revoke this as well, so... Yeah, we'll try and remember to do that. I'm going to pay, uh, pay homage as well. Court Jester, food fight, my liege. I know something that will cheer you up. Watch closely as I sneak upon my prey. My Jester Leopold whispers to me, What is he up to? Hungry, he screams, hurling a pomegranate cake in the face of my courtier Hussam. <laughs> He's the guy that we just welcomed to the realm, isn't he? Yeah, he is. With a priceless expression, oh, and Hussam seems to have taken it somewhat fine. Oh, joy. What fun. What a classic jest. <laughs> we can become friends with him. Or, that's it. Now fight. Or we can make them fight each other. Which we don't want to do, because we are, um... I guess because we're uh, just or whatever we are. Just... Yeah, so we don't want him to do that. I guess we'll do... We'll make him clean him off. They'll be, they'll become good... Oh no, we'll become good friends with him. And we're just going to make Leopold clean him. There you go. Took the jest too far, I think. Let's run off. Get back here. Uh, yeah, we'll try to revoke this as well. I've, I don't think you can do it during war. Let's see. Oh no, you might be able to. Oh, she'll 100% accept because we have a claim on it. Is this the only one that she owns? It is. I'm kind of surprised she has the 100% acceptance. Personality. We have a valid claim. She likes us. Refusal is treason. She's intimidated. And we're just crazy more powerful than her. Okay, I'm going to take it. Nice. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> we'll take that for ourselves. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Awesome. So yeah, we just have... Um, let's have a look. Yeah, we have the, the two over here, the rebellions, does basically to take back. The way of the spear, the endless clash of metal on metal, the chafing of armor, the sting of sweat. It is a dance as familiar as it is ex exhausting. To couch my spear, attack, dodge, defend, and repeat. Maybe it would do me some good to practice my skills with another weapon. Oh, we got this Bavarian spear. We will not be parted. Yeah, ever since we stole it, we've had that. Anyway, yeah, the siege is finished, so we've won this. We can imprison them all. And now, we'll see. Can we revoke these without any problems? He's a known criminal. Amazing. And then, yeah, I think this is... Oh, no, this last... Linz is actually part of uh, Salzburg. But um, actually would take us over the cap. Um, can we have our husband? Is he any good at stewardship? He's okay. If we do manage domain, do we go to nine? Don't. That's annoying. Well, I guess we won't revoke it then. <laughs> I suppose we could revoke it and give it to someone in our family, I suppose. I will finish overseal for our uh, stuff there. Book title. Oh no, he has two. We have uh, Freidstadt, which is an which is in Austria. Yeah. Um, oh, no, there's actually three here. Well, in that case, we'll take his capital off him. There you go. Let's punish him. And we we, we want to make sure we do punish him, but we can't keep this because we're over our domain limit. So what we will do is we'll give this away. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, yeah, so the nine we have are all in here. Although, no, this is a castle holding. Yeah, we built this castle holding, didn't we? Sure, you know let's get rid of this. We'll grant this to a local noble. There we go. And then that means we are under the limits. So we can keep Linz. And to be honest, we'll probably just inherit this back when he dies, because he's 60. So we can deal with that again later. So that'll work. I don't think we can take anything else off him. Now we'll be seen as an act of tyranny now. Um, but yeah, we should, I think, be able to revoke Bohemia off you. Thank you very much. <laughs> like I say, it's a shame we can't give it to him. But we can't. So we'll, we'll give it away to somebody else. I think that does mean we technically have a vote in the uh, in this, don't we? Oh no, you are not one of the electors. I thought Bohemia was. 
Hmm. Never mind. It is not. Um, anyway, yeah, we'll um, we'll just give this away to somebody from our house. I almost gave it back to him. Uh, none of these. Our daughter. I mean, we could give it to our daughter, to be honest. Probably not a good plan. Or our sister here. Do you know, let's give it to our sister. Again, probably not the best plan. Is it a matrilineal marriage? It is. And look at all these children. In fact, her first daughter is a court jester. <laughs> In Venice, I think. But, um... Can we not give the title to you? Oh, no, because you're in his realm. Hmm, okay, not you then. Sure, I might just give it to her. I know she's our sister. Our daughter, so we probably shouldn't give it to her, but I'm I'm gonna do it anyway. If I can. Can't grant titles, all of these. Uh <laughs> it says all of these and there's no reasons listed why we can't do it. I think it's because she's like in the line of succession, so we can't give this land to her. Yeah, I think that's why. I just need someone from the House Habsburg that isn't landed. Or maybe this guy. Ansgar von Habsburg. He's got an interesting looking wife who's wandering. He's just she just wandered off and left him alone. Joe, you, know you can you can have it. Oh no, we can't give it to you either. Oh, we can't invite you to court. Oh, because you're an heir to somebody else's land. Never mind. But Panny. Panny von Habsburg. You won't come join us. Well, that's annoying. Clemia, will you come join us? No. Walperga? Oh, she will. She will come join us. Where is she? Austrian Catholic? <laughs> Look at this guy's armour. His, his name doesn't seem realistic. Adam Ulfric. He's got like a really Hungarianish sounding name, or Croatian. But then just Adam is his first name. <laughs> what kind of marriage have they got? Oh, it's just a normal one. Oh, he's not gonna. That's no good then. Theopold? What about you? You're married normally to Margot. Will you come to court? Yes. Okay, well, when, when he gets here. Is he here now? No. There we go. Is that the same guy? I have no idea. No, yeah, no, no, it is the same guy. Yeah, 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 it is the same guy. There we go. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, we're going to give you all of this. There you go. Nice. So, yeah, he's the Duke of Bohemia now. A prisoner in my own body? Oh, no. We became infirm? Unbelievable behavior, to be honest. Right, what have we got here? We've got an, an event, or manners. Oh, we've had this before. We'll learn proper manners. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> He's sleeping with our daughter, so... Yeah, he will learn some manners. Right, let's go on... Oh, do you know, we probably shouldn't go on pilgrimage if we're ill. We might do it anyway. Anyway, let's see. Oh, introduce a new fashion to court. No court can claim to be as stylish as ours. The court is a battleground of fashion, and it's high time I made my own effort to establish something vogue among the nobility. Character court may attempt to duel you in diplomacy to prevent your style from being implemented. Uh, sure, I'm going to do this. I've not done this event, so let's let's do it. And um, can we make up? To, to be fair, I know we're infirm. I don't think you can be cured from infirm, can you? So, yeah, we won't go on pilgrimage, I guess. Sometimes we are soon and could be playing as this guy unless something crazy happens. Of fashion and feuds, I strut around my court, proud of my new bold fashion forward statement, my heavy golden boots shimmering in the light of Vienne Hall. What are you wearing? My daughter cries out at me from across the hall. 
We throw insults back and forth, myself defending what is so obviously good fashion going far over the head of simple minds. As the local nobility flock around me, I can consider my fashion statement to be a roaring success. I always know best. I was wearing some gold boots. I like it. That, that is style, to be honest. Right. Uh, we're going to attack you before we, uh, we end up dying. And it's not going to be too much trouble. Oh, we captured him, so it really isn't. <laughs> we, we captured him in the first battle. Fantastic. Right, what is the duchy down here? The duchy of Crane. So we'll give it to this person. Oh, no, it's the dude in Staymark. Hmm, I don't really want to give him more land, but it is part of that duchy. No, Joe, we'll just make a... Um, we'll just granite sword from our house again. Uh, let's have a look. Anyone? Counts of Hohenlohe. Where's that? <laughs> oh no, he only has claims? Oh yeah, we'll give him this then. Yeah, grant him lands. Playback. There we go. He actually has claims in, in Holland, was it? Oh, he has a claim on the Duchy of Holland. Wait, what? Oh no, it's not from our house. I thought this was our house because it looks really like it. It's just slightly different. Oh, I thought it was from our house. <laughs> I didn't even check. But he isn't. Oh, yeah, he's got like a blue tongue and the dragon is slightly different. Okay, I'll have to remember that. That is a bad mistake. Well, it's, it's only a county. Like, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I, for some reason, it just didn't dawn on me that it might not be um, correct. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. We'll give him the duchy title anyway. I know. It's only the tiny uh, duchy down here. And it's going to like us a lot for doing so. Death of a pet. My servant's dog died. And as he was really close to the dog, he's been feeling rather dejected and sad, which has been affecting his ability to perform his duties. Perhaps I should say something to him. Silly boy, it's just a stupid dog. <laughs> Get your act together or else I'll have to punish you. Cheer up, we'll find you a new dog. Or it's, he, it's a better place now, but take your time to grieve. Oh, it's in a better place. Okay, that's less, that's less harsh. I will do this one. We'll find him a new dog. Why not? Why not? Right, let's... um. Where's our council? Yeah, increase control in all these lands. Um, Yeah, do Linz first, as we just took that one. Increasing development in our uh, capital, so that's going to go up to 32. That's not too bad at all. kind of want to replace you, but you are a powerful vassal, so I can't. You're amazing, Kuno, but um, we've got three powerful vassals that aren't on the court. Right, you. Replace him with our son. Well, let's do that. We'll, we'll leave him there. It's just so good. It does be kind of silly to move him. And then, why are you not wearing any clothes? <laughs> oh, because you're in bed. You're ill. Okay, that makes more sense. Is he ill in bed, or is our daughter there? Let's, uh, let's not think about it too much. Um, yeah, we could go on... I don't know. I kind of want to go on pilgrimage. Oh, somebody died. Oh, Benedicta finally died. In fact, she's not a landowner so she's gone from the list anyway an extra hand for all the authority i supposedly wield as an archduchess i cannot be everywhere in my realm all at once there will always be those who forget to obey my orders once my attention has turned elsewhere this is where my knight brun has come in who has been faithfully enforcing my decrees whilst touring the countryside could he serve as my right hand man and take a more active role in the administration you gain a right hand man 0.1 control growth. That's not too bad, actually. We might take that. Bron von der Leep. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Right, uh, yeah, we might build some more upgrades. And I think we won't go on pilgrimage. It just seems like a bad idea as we're ill. Might as well use this money on some... Uh, some investments rather than that, I think. Um, we'll do this one, why not? There we go. 
spend up some of the money. We'll keep the rest. We've got a lot of decisions we can do. A feast, hold court, pilgrimage, hunt, petition leisure. Um, to, be, to be honest, last time we couldn't really petition anything. So I don't think we'll do that. We could hold court. Let's do that. Rightful lands. A markedly disgruntled Countess Benedictine. <laughs> yeah, we took those off you. So, uh, no. Yeah, Ludbert's claim is the truer. It is, because we took those lands off you after that last war and um, and gave them to somebody else. So, no. Maybe you shouldn't have rebelled against us. Unhappy match. Ezo von Furstenberg, a nobleman from Prague, comes, it, comes to me asking to annul his betrothal to my guest. Um... Uh, Oof, 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 whatever her name is. Wait, wasn't he, like, cheating on her with somebody else? Isn't that what happened in that story before? I'm pretty sure he cheated on her with somebody else. So, um... Then you will never marry. Yeah, go on. <laughs> That's his punishment for cheating on her and then coming up, coming up to us and being like, Look, I don't want to be married to her anymore. Okay, well, go be a nun. <laughs> Problem solved. An unconventional preacher, my liege, Duke Heinrich's voice is severe. I request that we launch an investigation about an infamous preacher in Vienne. You see, this preacher is, well, she's a woman. That is not in accordance with our faith. Who is he speaking to? Duke Baldemir interjects the speech by raising his hand and taking a step forward. My liege, whilst Heinrich is correct in his assessment, this is a preacher's only flaw. Everything she teaches is in accordance of our faith. Dude, we're, we, we're a woman as well. Like, how dare you come in and tell these things? We need more people to spread the word of God. Throw this false preacher in jail. I wish to employ this preacher as my al almoner. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Or, if she can teach peasants, then she'll make a good court tutor. I'm just going to do the, you know, just let her keep spreading um, the, good, the good word. Yeah, let's do it. And we're done. And then, uh, oh, hello. I think I accidentally clicked into here. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. I clicked Petition Lord. Actually, we'll see what... Um, well, let's see if there are any options we can do. Send Bailiffs. Sure, let's do that. She increases control in counties that you own. So, I'm just going to the Kaiser's throne room. I briefly describe the problems my fiefdom fence faces. Resistant to my authority and beset by vagabonds. I request assistance in restoring order. My Kaiser... Uh, fair offer, I accept. He gets a weak hook on us. I don't want a weak hook. I explained poorly. Yeah, I don't want to give him a hook. Although we're going to fail both of these. <laughs> Let's try this. 25% chance we'll succeed. Didn't work. Oh well. Not the end of the world, I don't suppose. Um, and then, yeah. I suppose later in the future we, we can try take these other counties as well. But uh, we are 8 out of 8. It's a lot of holdings already. It'd be kind of hard for us to get more holdings than 8, I think. At least in the, like say, in the short term. We've got 15 stewardship. It's 8. So as our next character, we might even have to give one of these away. Uh, we'll see, though. Actually, what is his stewardship? Oh, it's 10. Okay, we might we, we, we might be fine. Um, yeah, we might be perfectly fine. His intrigue focus, though, so... Um, that'd be kind of interesting as a uh, continuation of the campaign. Do you want to go to Geneva again? Sure. It was a good party last time. And then, yeah, actually, we'll just spend more of this money. Wait, is this a castle holding? Oh, I thought this was the county. Oh, this is just another random castle. Well, we'll keep this for now. Um. Oh, wait, no, no, that's right. Isn't it? No, it is right. Ignore me. I thought it was like a random extra castle. Yeah. After having spoken over dinner for a while, Johan leans over to tell me that he finds it impressive how knowledgeable I am about so many different things. Nice. Yeah, it's not like the one we built in Vienne that was extra. That was a good evening. It was a good evening. Um, I think we're probably going to leave it there for today, though. Well, actually, no, it, it carries on. Countess Arengard announces a slight delay in the serving of food and <laughs> Countess Arengard... Wait, is this a different one? Looks ready to burst with frustration. Are they different people? Wait, they're the same person. She's talking about herself. 
In between her grumbles from her stomach, I hear grumbles of displeasure. She's making a fool of herself. She is, because she looks like she's talking to herself in the story. <laughs> so yeah, kind of foolish. Uh, but yeah, we're going to leave it there for today. Um, just another, like, uh, quickish episode. But, um, you know, we've done well gathering those extra bit of lands. And kind of, again, just kind of building up the uh, the realm a little bit more. Um, it's not doing quite... Uh, they're not doing quite too bad at all. Wait, Dissolution War? No! No, 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 we don't want this. We don't want to do disillusion the Hungarian throne. Right, we're going to have to, have to offer to join this war. Oh, we can't? Not his ally? Oh, I always forget, you're not... Well, we'll see then. Um, if they dissolve the Hungarian title... Um, this is what we'll be doing for the next couple of episodes. We'll be just be taking all these titles for ourselves, and then we'll reform the Hungarian title, and we'll have the Austro-Hungarian um, kind of realm is the is the plan. So uh, yeah, that that will probably be what we're doing next episode. We'll see. He might turn this around, I suppose. Yeah, he does have more troops, and he has Steyrmark helping. So we'll see. Hopefully, he wins it. But if not, we'll uh, we'll just take all these lands for ourselves and kind of see. How that works out for us but um yeah apart from that everything's kind of as it was before i don't think anything too crazy has happened i think jerusalem's got even more land i can't believe she's still alive to be honest she want a what, second husband yep and then this guy is gonna inherit it as we saw before prince ulrich and he's got a bunch of children as well. So yeah, this should be safe down here now. Unless something crazy happens. I think uh, Jerusalem will be safe from uh, from anything else. They'll probably keep expanding. As you can see, you know, they're not going to worry about the Byzantines. All the lands here have kind of fragmented and kind of stayed as they are. And the same along here. Now there's really just Nubia that might give them some trouble. So I'll have to see kind of what, what they get up to in the future. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of the... Um, you know, Ishmali and Ashari, they've really not unified together like you usually see. So they're kind of just getting picked apart, really, to be honest. Which is good for us. You know, the, ha the Habsburgs ruling down in Jerusalem are doing quite well for themselves. But uh, yeah, and the Mongols, they're making slow progress in our direction. So again, we'll keep an eye on those. But that is going to be it for today. If you've enjoyed today's episode, if you hit that like button, it helps other people find the channel and the episodes in the future. And if this is your first video here, I cover Crusader Kings and other grand strategy games, and this is the story campaign in Rise of the Habsburgs that we're doing at the moment. And then once we finish this one, we'll do a different uh, kind of story campaign in Crusader Kings 3 is the main campaign on the channel. I'm thinking probably over in Iberia, um, do a struggle-based one, or down here in the Canary Isles. I did a video the other day that's on the channel about the, uh, the cool free update that the Canary Isles got, so uh, probably one of these two will play. In the, in the next campaign once this one's finished but we're running 12 13 so uh, we've got what like 200 years left to go so hopefully we can get some more of those historical habsburg lands but uh, yeah we can leave it there today thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one